Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back once again with the Electro Sports League and Super Mega Baseball. The next game that we have is the 7 and 5, 7 of Niners, who are 7 of something. And uh, we're, we're at 5 and 6 right now and we really need a win to, uh, to start closing in on Cheerio Inc. and staying ahead of the Steganauts. Uh, let's go and have a look and see who our opening pitcher is today. It's Margot Spatula, who is not a good pitcher. Just just is not a good pitcher. Uh, Steve Morris starting to show a little bit of sign of fatigue there, but we'll keep him in for this one. Uh, he had a good game last time around, so we'll keep him in. Only he had a good game despite uh, being on the receiving end of quite a lot of abuse from yours truly. Um, but yes, it is going to be Margot who is going to lead the way. Let's get to the ball game. Not entirely sure what to expect from this 7 of 9 er team. I've not played them before, uh, but uh, well, well, we'll figure it out, won't we? Yeah, we always do. We figure something out. Oh, this is a nice tropical island slash volcanic uh, 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 stadium. That's what they call them. Right, okay, park, I think is, is what they actually call them. Anyway, here's Cindy. She's uh, she's off to, uh, to get us underway here. And uh, bowling for the 7 of 9 ers is foul a stiff bottom. Because of course he is. Well, Cindy has a flap at that one. It's it's not really gone well, and she's out. Uh, I've decided to uh, to get stuck in early. Anyway, here's Bingo. He's looking pretty confident. Well, he, he always looks. No, he he doesn't know. He never looks confident. Anyway, that's ball one. That's more like it. And that's strike one allegedly. Okay. That's uh, ball two. Bingo. Not easily flapped. And. Ball three, yeah, yeah, we're going to stand our ground here. Well, he's he's hit that one. It's gone high, but it's not gone far. So uh, there's Bingo going to go and have a little sit down and uh, and think about what he's done with his life so far. Here's Bam Bam, uh, batting over 500 so far this season, which is quite nice. Uh, ball one. Foul a stiff bottom, throwing them all over the place. Anyway, Bam Bam gets that one away to centre field. She'll advance first. Hooray for us. We finally got a hit. Well, that's all right. That's okay. It's first inning. This it's all good. Is Shamrock uh, also batting 500 this season? Well, I mean, to be honest, we bat quite well. Uh, we just don't really capitalise on that batting, and that's out. So there we go. That's the side retired and uh, capitalise. No, don't worry about it. It's nothing. Anyway, here's Pilot Perks. Uh, she's going to kick off the uh, the team's uh, aspirations for this one. Oh my giddy aunt. She doesn't half look cheery. Uh, anyway, right, come on in, Margot. What's it going to be? Well, I'm going to throw a ball in there. Really, are you? No, I'm not. I'm gonna, well, it was a ball, but it was the wrong the wrong kind. And that one. That one's gone a bit wide. Margot, not quite finding her rhythm yet. Uh, well, Sally rhythms elsewhere. Well, <laughs> well done. Oh, a bunt. Oh, that's, a, that's an interesting idea. That didn't really pay off for you, though, did it? Um, don't, don't bunt if you're trying to get on base. That's a that's bad strategy. That it really is bad strategy. Anyway, who have we got next? This is uh, Frank Chicote, who's uh, who's up next, and uh, he's got sideburns that go on for a week and a half. So it's another fairly dubious pitch. Uh, Margot can't be bothered to try and field it herself, so that one goes out to centre field, and Chicote gets on base. All right, okay, that's fine. That's good. Here's Carl Sagan. He's in there. Nice tash there, Carl. And uh, we'll we'll start him off with a change up. Strike one. Yeah, he didn't know what to make of that one, so he didn't make anything out of it. And oh, lovely play. And that's an out. Very good. There, Shamrock with a diving stop. My giddy aunt. Here's a face only mother could love, uh, and that's uh, James Perez. Oh dear, mate. Uh, I mean, you're a you're a disgrace. And that one's gone foul. Uh, Margo here needing uh, needing this just to just to clean up the team. That one hasn't gone far. Anybody get it? Anyone throw to first, and that's the side retired. Good stuff. All square at the end of the first inning. One hit apiece. Uh, next up to bat is Veronica Hammock, and uh, she is in good shape, uh, managing to steal the position at centre field from Zoltan Zoltan. Uh, that was a, possibly an ill-advised hit that she got there, but it's done enough to get her onto first base. Uh, which is where we want her at this current time. But, well, I mean, unless, you know, she's fancying it further than that. Uh, here's new cleanup man, Ulysses Fader. 
Uh, he's having a terrific season. 550 is batting average. Uh, that one doesn't count. Obviously, that one uh, went slightly foul. That one went a bit low. Uh, Fag him. He's uh, going to take his time. Oh, dearie me. You couldn't have swung later for that one if you'd left the timetable in your other jacket pocket and uh, you were certain it was the Sunday timetable that you were using. And he swung at everything, got himself struck out, and he's a port. Uh, the pitcher there is, uh, is claiming that one quite justifiably. Uh, failure completely off his mark. Steve Morey, however, he's had a go. He's given it a knock, and it's gone the distance. Steve Morey. Uh, who we were considering having a rest this week has uh, done the de business. Done the business? He has. The business has been done. Uh, and that brings up Tintin Hollywood, uh, the team, in strong position with two runs batted in there. Tintin. Leaves that one alone. Was a strike. Didn't, didn't need to be a strike, though, did it? He's had a go for the second one, though, and that's got the mustard. Yep, yep, it's not only got the mustard, it's got the ketchup, it's got some barbecue sauce there as well. It's, uh, it's even got a bit of Tabasco, because it's pretty spicy. Uh, Tintin Hollywood, seventh home run this season. Uh, 453 feet there, and his 17th run batted in. Because I can read subtitles. Here's Margot, no pressure on her whatsoever. She gets out, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll just let this pitcher burn himself through a few more pitches. Yep, yeah, yeah, ball two. Go on, Margot, a walk here would be a result. Man, that was about as straight a pitch as you're ever going to see. Yeah, and that one. Right, well, we soaked up four pitches. Have a go. Well, not a bad hit from Margot. She's not going to get there. She's out. But, you know, used up five pitches. That's, that's good. Cindy, back once again. The renegade blonde is, uh, is going to give it a go and see if she can do it. Well, no. Not off that one, she's not. That was a ball. And so was that one. Cindy standing her ground. That was a strike. Yeah, I thought it probably was. And that one's a ball. Three and one the count now. Cindy Vapid gets a walk. Cindy advances to first base and, uh, and is rewarded for her patience by what I just said. Here's Bingo. Uh, two outs, remember? So uh, this would be classic bulldozer power play. Of the, uh, of the team getting out while they've actually got people on base as Bingo slaps one into centre field and manages to get two first. Uh, here's Bam Bam. She had a good first at bat. Uh, what's she going to do this time? Oh, that's, uh, that's ball one. Yeah, okay. That one's, that one's the next ball there. Two is the number. And there's ball three. Bam Bam not phased by any of this at all. Uh, strike one. Yeah, that's a lovely job. Strike two, if you say so. Okay, and shouldn't have swung at that. That one was going to be a ball. She'd have got a walk, but instead had a go at it. Didn't go very far. She got the team out. But uh, these things happen uh, at the uh, as we enter the, the the bottom half of the second inning here. Uh, ball does power up by three, and Trent Tuvok is the next batter in the batter's position. Strike one. Nice pitch from Margot there. That's yes, very good. Well done, Margot. Good job. That one's gone foul, which effectively means that's strike two. And finish them off. All right, don't finish them off. Oh, no, good enough. Cindy gets to the ball, throws to first, and Tuvok can go and sit himself down. Here's Thor Haystacks. And, and uh, well, I don't know how long she spent in a haystack this morning. I hope it was enough. Strike one there. Margot saying, I, I've got me aim in now. And she's got to that one as well, and that's out. Uh, there we go. A nice throw from Margot, and that's out number two as Harry Kim comes up. Um, he's, uh, he's a gaunt-looking young man with very large shoulders considering his slender frame. And uh, Harry gets that one away to centre field. He'll get on base, but he has got two outs already. So I've got plenty of opportunity to, uh, to really rinse the team, make them feel sad for being part of this, this shower. Uh, is Orbital Velocity, who uh, plays what? Catcher. Okay. He's got some kind of weird shoulder wiggle manoeuvre going on there. He's trying to, trying to catch out Margot, who is, uh, you know, he's a fan of the shoulder wiggle. Uh, but uh, she's, she's having none of it. Strike one. Ball one is the count of throws that we have here. It's like Game of Throws. 
Well, it is a game of throws. It's also a game of hits and catches. Oh, strike two. That was nice. Cat, uh, strike two. Uh, ball two is the uh, is the count. See if he falls for this. He hasn't fallen for that. No, he's hit that one to the fence. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. We'll chuck this and we'll try and get it to home. Go on. No, never mind. And they get a run. Boo. Here's Fowler stiff bottom, the pitcher. Well, let's, uh, with, with two runners on base, let's, let's hope we can dispatch this clown without too much trouble. Okay, that one's gone foul. Okay, that counts. That's all good. See how he feels about the change of route. Yeah, strike two. And uh, drop a train on him with the fastball. No, that one's gone foul. All right. All right well, you do the, your, the alternate fastball here. That one's in the dirt. That's no flipping good to anybody. Come on. Come on, Margo. Dig deep. Let's get him done. That'll do it. There you go. Margo with a strike out there. Side retired. And at the end of the second, it's three to one in favour of the bulldozers. A decent position to be in. Uh, here's Shamrock. Uh, nothing from his first at-bat, but has made a decent play defensively. And he gets that one nicely out. Damn. Uh, well, it looked good. Uh, but no, that was caught in a fairly dramatic sliding tackle. Someone else is demonstrating that they too know how to field. Uh, that brings up Veronica Hammock, who is uh, currently waiting for uh, for these terrible pitches to part. Uh, so yeah, there goes another one. Anytime you like, mate. No, all right, I'll just wander off over here. Veronica there, four balls in a row, get to walk. His failure, he was rubbish first time round. Uh, let's see if he can be less rubbish this time round. Well, he swung at that very late. It was the right kind of pitch for failure. He usually lights them up. Didn't light that one up, though. He just slapped it in the audience, like some kind of audience hater. That was strike two, apparently. And there you go. Failure says, get out of town. And that one is gone. Failure there with a two run home run. Uh, that's that's put uh, a commanding lead in the back pocket of the bulldozer power uh, who will be hoping to keep it there and not forget it when they next put their jeans in the wash uh, here's steve murray he had a home run first time round. he's looking very pleased with himself that said steve often looks pleased oh he's got a piece of that one well he's got several pieces of it he got he hit the whole thing oh and it was caught at the fence oh steve steve there denied a two base hit uh, by a nice piece of fielding. That brings up Tintin Hollywood. No one hanging around, not least of all Tintin. He doesn't want to be on the field at all. So he gets himself out and then has to come back to the field. In fact, he was trotting towards first base, which is where he lives when he's defending. Pilot Perks, back to the top of the order for the Seven of Niners. Pilot uh, got herself out with a bunt first time round. It's, uh, it's a cunning scheme. Bam, bam. No, bam, bam. No. And this time gets herself up to uh, first base following a nice uh, kind of... Uh, well, what we're looking there? We're looking uh, kind of northwest, north. Northwest, northwest. Kind of a kind of a direction there as you look at the compass point uh, with uh, south being the uh, being home plate. Uh, for those of you with a protractor, uh, it was, I would say, uh, oh, oh, probably about, I don't know, 76 degrees was how far that one went. It was quite good. And Tintin! No, 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 no! Oh, I was being so clever with all my commentary there that I let a, uh, a steal go through, let someone get up to first base. That could have been a, uh, at least one play, but Tintin threw to second before actually tagging the base like a complete muppet. Right, okay, less on the uh, commentary, more on the flipping, concentrate on the ruddy gun. Uh, right, okay, what's going on here? It's Carl Sagan again. Runners first and second, no outs, and uh, strike two. Thank you. Good. That's brought us all back up to speed. No, way, way, way too late. Way, 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 way too late with the dive there from Shamrock Bubble Jet, but it went foul anyway, so that's good. That one's gone foul as well. That's uh, super. At some point, Margot has to get this clown out. Shamrock! Oh, and he, ma he makes a completely heinous error. Uh, Shamrock bubble jet there, missing what would have been a spectacular diving catch. And here's... Oh, dear. Chunk McHideous is, uh, is back at the plate. Yeah, he's, he's not a good-looking dude. He just isn't. I'm sorry, in a who-would-you-do list, 
He finishes bottom. Strike two. And uh, there we go. And where are we going? Strike three. He stands there like a tub of lard and hits about as effectively. Uh, Trent Suvok is up next. And uh, Trent, uh, one out now. Bases are loaded. So uh, quite a lot of pressure on the Margos batch at this point. As uh, she is 37 pitches deep into the... Oh, no. Oh, I could I could almost sense that that was happening. Yeah, no, I, it, I sensed it because it, I saw it happen in my mind's eye a fraction of a second before it happened. Cindy Vapid diving over an easy stop that sailed out to right field uh, that could have resulted in a double play. You were thinking too much about the double play uh, rather than actually just making the stop in the first place. Nobody gets out. And the team get a couple of runs for their trouble. That one's a bit more promising, though. Veronica Hammock with a catch in centre field. And that's all good. They did manage to get third base off it, though, so you know, that's, that's the thing that they've achieved. Uh, where are we now? Uh, two outs, bottom of the third, uh, runners first and third, and it is Harry Kim. Who is up to face Margot Spatula? That one's gone to Tintin, who's not going to mess around. He's just going to trot back to first, get the side out. There you go. Keep it uncomplicated. And, uh, frankly, we let him in the door there. We shouldn't have done so. It was like inviting the head vampire in. Renders you powerless. Uh, anyway, it's Margot who's up to bat. Uh, once again, we'll, we'll let her just soak up the pitches. Uh, that's the, uh, the 50th pitch of the day for Fowler Stiffbottom. Oh, no, Margot apparently is not going to hang around at all. And is out. All right, well done, Margot. Good, good show. Not entirely sure what she was thinking there, but it, it wasn't thinking in a particularly uh, strategic fashion. Here's Cindy Vapid. Got a walk last time. Nothing from her first at-bat, though. It's ball two. Uh, Fowler is obviously dazzled by the blondness of Cindy because that's ball three. She's going to wait out for strike two, at least. Right, and now this is the one that matters with the full counts. And that's another walk for Cindy Vapid. She may not hit very well, but she gets on base regularly. So, you know, that's that's all good. Bingo has man now. One out for the team. Bingo standing in there, taking the ball. Uh, still uh, still just jigging up and down a little bit. Now that one was ball two. There you go. Bingo gets it away. A nice fielding attempt there. Diving catch from that third baseman, who's a right pain in the bum. I won't be on it. Oh, he's... A troublemaker, no mistake. Uh, but uh, no, good enough. Left field was the hit. And uh, that's runners now first and second is Bam Bam. Ball one. Yeah, yeah. yep, yep, yep. Uh, ball two, good, 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 good. Ball three, and she's lapped that one out to uh, left field, uh, which now loads up the bases uh, for a dramatic uh, Shamrock Bubble Jet special play. He's uh, 0 for 2 today. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Oh, no. no, no he's, he's done good work. He put that one out to centre field. Gets on base. That's a run. And uh, Bulldozer Power off the mark in this inning as Veronica Hammock is up. A uh, single and a walk she's had today. And we've got a pitching change going on. Uh, Fowler is going to sit down. Carmel Long comes in. Uh, quite a lot on the uh, velocity side of things. Oh, and uh, Harry Kim is going off. Don't know why he's played quite well, but it's Somna French who's coming on in his place. Okay. Okay, right. Well, there we go. That's ball one. No change there. And let's face it, uh, the size of Veronica, her strike zone is significant. Whoa, whoa. Don't swing at it if you don't feel like swinging at it. Uh, ball three. Strike one now. And that's another walk. Worse than that, it's a free run off a walk there. Uh, Veronica on base is uh, Ulysses' failure. And, uh, well, has, has this pitcher calmed down? Yeah, that was, that was clearly a strike, that one. I saw it coming. That one was clearly a ball. Saw that one coming as well. And then going again. Ball two, strike one. Failure, standing his ground. He's had a go for that one. Now, how fast is that? Never mind. That's a grand slam for Ulysses' failure. And that's why we have him in this role, because once in a while he'll do something like that and we get all the points. Uh, here they are, the points for us, all of them. And uh, that's going to be utterly demoralising for this new pitcher, bringing up Steve, Steve Morrie. 
And he gets that one away. That's a nice hit from Steve Murray. We don't say that very often, but he's had a home run today already and a nice two-base hit there. Uh, Steve Murray there. Everybody, uh, get your uh, trading cards back out the bin. Steve Murray is back and, uh, and looking fierce, hoping for the pies. Uh, here's uh, Tintin Hollywood. I didn't see what he's done so far today. I'm going to assume it was so-so. Anyway, he's, uh, he's on strike two, and he's just got himself struck out there. So that's, uh, that's the end of Tintin. Um, here's Margot, third at bat today. She's batting 250 this season. That's, uh, that's okay. We can. I don't mind if she gets out. I, I rarely do I mind if my pitcher gets out. That's a nice hit, but it might not be good enough. No, a flipping very nice hit there from Margot Spatula. Uh, she gets to first base, runner advances to third, and that brings up Cindy, walks a lot vapid. Uh, she's getting her steps in today. Let's see what we can do here. Well, she's popped that one up. That's the end of the... That's, no, that's the end of that. No, good job, Cind. Should have just left it, but no, no, decided to try and be a hero. Seen other people hit it over the fence and uh, decided to do that for herself. Anyway, that was a six-run inning there for Bulldozer Power, and they're feeling mighty pleased with themselves. So far, having this game very much under control. Have they, though? Is the game under control or not? Well, at the moment, it seems like it might be. Uh, but you never know. It might not be. Oh, and Margot takes one in the face. It's not good. Uh, worse than that. Oh, no, Margot there. Uh, that was horrendous. Um, I know, with a sickening thud. And Margot is a very definite. She's got a body contusion, which is not what you want. She stood up. Uh, and waiting for me to press the substitution button, which is clearly a thing that I should be doing about now. There we go. Well, well, that's one way to decide that you uh, that you need a new pitcher. Yeah, okay, right. Who have we got up in the routine here? Tulip Banter. She's rattled. We're doing all right in this game, though. We'll give her a go. All right, Tulip. How are we doing? All right, well, Tulip Banter now, and uh, Somna French is, uh, is up to face Tulip. Uh, let's see how we get on. Okay, that one's gone foul. Good. Tulip's uh, first pitch there ends up in a strike. Oh, nice pitch. Strike two. And, and that's okay. That's good enough. We could have gone for the base that was being stolen there, but uh, we didn't have to get someone out. Always play safe rather than aggressive. You play aggressive. Sometimes it works. Mostly it doesn't. Anyway, one out now. Uh, runner on second. His uh, pilot perks up for another at bat. That one's high and to midfield. And Veronica's underneath it. Vanessa, Veronica. Veronica, it is Veronica. Good. I knew that. Yeah, I was just keeping you guessing. Anyway, here's Frank Chicote. He's got a magnificent quiff hidden underneath that helmet. That's a hairstyle for those of you unfamiliar with the term. That's ball number one. Just outside, on the far side. That's, uh, yeah, Bam Bam's going to have a dive for absolutely no purpose. They're going to try and get a run here. They might well get it. Cindy throws to... No, never mind. They got it. They got a run. Yeah, I got a run out of that. Here's Carl Sagan. Uh, he's busy giving a, uh, a deep-throated uh, narration of his uh, batting performance so far today and talking about how wondrous it all is. Anyway, he's hit those first two foul. Maybe if he concentrated a little less on his narration and a bit more on his batting, he might accomplish something. That one's gone straight to Bam. No, Bam Bam couldn't be bothered. Carl Sagan gets to first base. And uh, that's unfortunate. Could have retired the side. Here's James Perez again. Or Perez, as it should be. James Perez is uh, is up for a, for a spin. Uh, that dubious leg of his is, uh, is still on the wiggle. He's hit that one long and far and out of the park oh bum well James Perez there he's a hideous looking individual uh, but he has just hit a home run that's uh, lopped in three there for the seven of Niners closing the gap that they had allowed to build up and that brings up Trent Tuvok it's the first one foul who knows bam bam no bam bam no bam bam so she had a go. She dived, but it was, I mean, it was woefully poor. Woefully. It was it was a poor piece of fielding. Anyway, two outs. Uh, here's Thor Haystacks. Hasn't done a thing so far today. And uh, therefore, the opportunity lies in our opportunity bundle. Shamrock. 
Uh, well, he got in front of it, but made a pig's ear of it in the same uh, breath. And uh, Haystacks there gets onto base. Here's Carmel Long, the pitcher, who is being substituted for Pablo Nornor West. And uh, there we go, Pablo. Oh, don't, don't you grin at me, sunshine. I'll take that flipping grin off your face. And here's Cindy Vapid without number three, side retired. That's what you want from a relief uh, batsman there. Yeah, that's what I'm calling them now, relief batsman. I'll call them something else next time. It's either a designated hitter or a pinch hitter. It's probably a pinch hitter, really, isn't it? See, the fact that it says... Look, I'm going to use my cursor. See, that says PH, PH, pinch hitter. Yeah, so uh, the, the relief batsman there. Anyway, it's Celeste Plows is coming on to, uh, to pitch now. And at the top of the fifth inning, it is Bulldozer Power 11, 7 and 9 is 7. Bingo Hazmat uh, will be leading us off today. He's just below 500 for the season. A hit here will take him over that magic number. Well, that's a hit. It's going to drift over the foul line and probably get caught, which it has, and there's that. Here's Bam Bam. Uh, also two of three today. Uh, let's see what she's got uh, in her uh, uh, bag of tricks for this one. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's an idea there, Bam Bam, but it didn't really work, did it? No, she trickled that one out to uh, towards second base and gets herself out for her trouble is uh, is Shamrock, who's not played that great. Nope, and, uh, and manages to maintain that streak by getting out off the first pitch. Side retired for nothing there. Anyway, Orbital Velocity will now come up to uh, to face the uh, uh, the banter. That one's a bit inside. It, no, he didn't go for that. Because, that, I mean, it was, well, it was very inside. Anyway, it's uh, pitch number two. Yeah, Tulip can't be bothered to die for it. Good effort. And uh, and he'll get on base. And it's no wonder that Tulip's confidence is lacking at the moment if she's uh, if she's just going to let stuff like that go. Be more confident, Tulip. Try and actually make a play once in a while, why don't you? You you Rarely are you solving any problems with your throwing. Oh, no, that one's gone a long way. No, it's off the fence. Okay, well, that could have been worse. Uh, they are going for the run. They might get it. And they get it. They get a run. Oh, goodness me. A two-base hit there. And uh, here, at the top of the fifth inning, we are yet to get an out. This is not a good state of affairs at all. Strike one. Uh, that makes a change. And it, uh, can, uh, can Tulip dig deep and make this happen? Tinted's calling for it. He's there. Either that or he's, uh, you know, praying to some kind of sun god. And that is that is an out now, finally. Good. Right, got one. Uh, that brings up Chakotay. He's uh, got a serious demeanour. And he's, uh, he's hit that one into the foul zone. Which is, uh, of course, where uh, General Zod and his cronies were in prison for so long. Uh, that one's gone. And uh, are they going to go for it? You sure? No, no, no. Well, that one went out to right field and that's on base there for Chakotay. Here's Carl Sagan again. Uh, his droning narration continuing about how mystical it all is. It is mystical. Bam Bam with the dive! And it's a nice play from Bam Bam. Gets the out. Could have made a double play there. Didn't risk it. Went for first base because we, we like to keep things simple. Here's, uh, here's Chunk Uglison. Uglis, Uglison Chunk. That's his name. Bam Bam. No, no. Uglison gets himself a hit there as well. And that, uh, that will put runners first and third as the 7 and 9 has continued to close the gap. Uh, this, uh, this is turning into uh, more of a more of a nerve jangler than I was expecting, and that will be enough for another run. And the gap is now down to one run only. Here's Thor Haystacks. Uh, Tulip Banter is not getting this job done at all. Uh, we may have to make a pitching change as soon as possible, but not right now because that was quite a nice pitch, and it was indeed a strike. Uh, but that one was not a nice pitch, and that's going to load up the bases unless they know they've gone for home again. Throw, catch, that's uh, safe. Game is now tied. Uh, a dramatic comeback from the seven of Niners. We're going to let Tulip see if she can finish this one, but honestly, she's having a stinker. And I'm referring to her performance in the game and nothing else. Uh, that's another flipping hit. Ah, uh, dearie me. It's uh, it's all unravelling here for Bulldozer Power in the fifth inning. Uh, they have this game comfortably under control, and now it is slipping massively out of control. 
Anyway, that one looks okay. And we've got uh, we've got flipping bingo. Hasmat makes a catch. But the damage was done with allowing five runs there as the seven of miners take the lead for the first time today. Well, goodness me, friends. Ah, this is high drama indeed. Here is Veronica Hammock. She's going to need to do something for the team here. Uh, otherwise, the team is going to be a bit disappointed. Anyway, that's ball two. And, uh, and Veronica is ready for it. Gets one away. And that's a very nice hit from Veronica. Uh, put that one in an awkward place. She's going to score a double off that one. Very nice. Veronica Hammock, some second base. Could have made it to third. Didn't chance it. Here's uh, Ulysses' failure. He's got six runs batted in and two home runs so far today. Uh, so now's about the time that he'll get out cheaply. No! Ah, forces an error. But a failure gets on base. Veronica to third. Possibly could have run for home there, but uh, didn't want to risk it. Uh, here's Steve Murray. He's got a home run and a double uh, in his uh, uh, allotment of uh, successes today. Let's see what he can do with this one. That's uh, strike one there. That one was too low, Steve. Too low, Steve. That was too low. Well, they get Steve, but we managed to get a run out of it and advance of batter to second. So, uh, all right. Okay. Okay. Here's uh, Tintin Hollywood. He's got a home run, but that's the only thing he's done on the... That's the only thing he's done from the plate today. Oh, Tintin, you loser. Uh, gets himself out there. He really didn't get a good connection with that one and uh, ran himself out. So here's Tulip. She's out of here. Uh, substitute. Right. Who's up on the... Uh, right. Who haven't we used in a while? You know what? I'm going to risk it. Yeah. Here he comes. The big man. Zoltan Zoltan is out for a go at bat. Now, uh, we, don't know, we don't know why we're doing this, but we have... Anyway, he was a little bit uh, a little bit jumpy there. That one went foul. That one's a little bit popped up in the air and hasn't gone very far. Zoltan Zoltan there caught outside the tires. Oh, well, no real loss. Anyway, next up in the uh, relief pitching pen is uh, Jeff Conservative, but he is not at 100%. Uh, Sally Rhythm, however, is at 100%. Where are we? What inning are we in here? The sixth inning. Now, bring in the conservative. We need some. Uh, we need some defensive play here. Uh, so it's Jeff Conservative who's uh, who's up to try and try and salvage this game. Uh, it's all square right now. That one's gone for failure, and that's the way that Wall oh, kicks the microphone. And uh, that's the way that the conservative plays. He may not get a lot of strikeouts, although he does. Um, but what he what he definitely does do is is make it so that they hit it in a way that is easily caught out. That one's gone to Cindy and two pitches, two outs. Jeff Conservative, everybody, uh, doing what he does best, throwing the ball towards the catcher, and uh, that brings up Chakotay, who is the strong safety. Right, okay, that one has gone high. It's gone towards the centre field. Veronica's called for it. She gets catched. Three pitches. Three outs. Jeff Conservative, everybody. Conserves his energy for your benefit. Right, okay. Well, that brings us around to the top of our order again, and it's Cindy Vapid. Uh, 0 for 2 when she tries to hit the ball today, uh, but then two walks when she doesn't. Strike one there. Celeste Plows, ploughing one straight up the middle. There you go. And Cindy returns the favour by hitting one straight up the middle, and Cindy, with an actual hit, gets on base. Marvellous. That will bring up Bingo. Uh, he's at 50% for the day. Uh, not so much from his last at bat, but... Uh, well, that's the that's the joy of baseball. He's, he's no longer at his last at bat. Uh, but instead, he manages to do one better this time around and uh, causes a double play. Uh, two outs there immediately. Top play there from Bingo Hazmat. It's, uh, it's what we've come to expect and love. Uh, Bam Bam there struck at that one very late. Oh, checked it. Didn't wreck it. Yeah, very good. She's uh, She had to go for that one. It's not got the distance. She's going to be caught. That's the side of the tie. Oh, dearie me. Uh, into the seventh inning stretch now, and the score is tied. 12 to 12 to 12 and 12. And uh, here comes Carl Sagan. Let's see what he can do up against Jeff, the conservative, conservative pitcher. That's pretty good. Gone to Cindy. She throws to first. That's number one. Four pitches now for Jeff Conservative. Four outs. This is, uh, this is brilliant. Right, meanwhile, here comes, uh, I don't know, Elephantitis. 
uh, Muk uh, Sparaleg. Strike one. That's the first pitch from Jeff, Jeff Conservative there that didn't lead to an out. So it's a shame. That was a nice record to have anyway. Uh, the hideous monstrosity has hit that one to centre field. And uh, Jeff's perfect record evaporates in the process. Here's Trent Tuvok. He's three for four today. He's clearly, clearly a, a danger to uh, to low scoring games. No, that was a that was a duff pitch there. Jeff, have another go. That's high, uh, but has it got the length it needs? No, it does not have the length it needs. Veronica's underneath it, and that's a catch. Two outs now. Uh, Bulldozer Power's defensive unit doing a reasonably good job is Thor Haystacks, also batting 500 for the day. Uh, but let's see, uh, see if Jeff can't do something about that. There you go, Shamrock's got it, throws to first. And that's out number three. Uh, another good performance there from Bulldozer Power, who've uh, now put in subsequent... No, not subsequent. Uh, consecutive, that's the word. Consecutive scoreless inning. Ah, uh, there. Now batting. Well, scores all tied. Top of the eighth. His Shamrock Bubble Jets. No. Ball one. Yes. Nice hit. Shamrock. That has gone into an incredibly awkward position. Were it on the other side of the field, he might have gone for three bases off that. But uh, no, he didn't. He, uh, he decided to only go for two. Here's Veronica Hammock. Uh, the pressure is extremely high, but she is two for two today, having walked a couple of times. She's hit a double, a single. Uh, Veronica is having an absolutely belt-in performance. This, however, is not one of those performances. We advance the runner to third. Uh, Veronica can't quite make it to first in time, uh, but that's good. That brings up failure. And, uh, if ever there were a time for him to play well, this would be it. It's gone long, but it's going to get caught. It's caught as it went long. Could have possibly had a go for, for, the, uh, for the run there, but we didn't. You know, off the sacrifice fly, they call it. But here's Steve Morrie with an opportunity to, uh, to be the hero of the hour. Strike one. Steve Mori, strike one. And Steve's out. Steve, not the hero of the hour. Steve is the bum of the month. And uh, that's two innings back-to-back -back with no score from Bulldozer Power. And in a 50-50 game like this one, you really can't do that. Uh, we've, we're taking out Celeste Plows, and it's Maggie Scottish, uh, the re, uh, reserve centre fielder, who is coming on for a bat. And uh, she's uh, well, she looks like she means business. Let's see what sort of business she's in. She's in the hit it straight to Jeff Conservative who throws to first and gets her out business. And business is booming. Here's orbital velocity. Three of four today. Really? That's good. Ah, that's unfortunate. Mind you, several of those will have come at the expense of uh, Margot Spatula who was awful. Anyway, that one has gone to Cindy who gets a lot of business when Jeff's doing pitching. And there you go, that's another out. Uh, Somna French now, the last ditch effort uh, for the Seven of Niners. Uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be batting now. Strike one. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? Well, you did, because it was a change up, because it was going quite slowly. Uh, but you swung at it, and that's a foolish thing to do. That's uh, strike two. Here comes Jeff with the fastball. And that one's gone to Tintin, who will trot back to first base. And that's the side retired. Jeff Conservative doing what we pay him to do. Uh, Marge Scottish is out, and it's Beefy Hope who's coming in as a relief pitcher as we enter the ninth thrilling inning. Here's Tintin Hollywood. That's ball number one. And Tintin uh, gives himself away very quickly there. He's out. Now, here comes Jeff up for a bat. We let Jeff bat, you know. He's got a home run this season. He's batting 440. And, uh, well, whatever, Jeff. No, he's out. No, Jeff's out. Oh, dear. We need a run here, people. This is not a regular inning. This is where we should be trying to win. We should have sat Jeff down. No, nope. I have a suspicion that we're going to need him defensively. Anyway, uh, Cindy, now one-on-one -on -one is the count. And... Oh, that's a good hit. Just, just a good hit. I mean, it, oh, hey, that one was right on the border. Right, Bingo Hazmat caused untold damage to the team last time around. He has to redeem himself. He hasn't redeemed himself. That's a foul, but it's gone into the crowd, fortunately, rather than getting everybody out. All right, Bingo now, strike one. 
That's ball one. It was a quick one, though. There's ball two. Bingo. Calming himself down. Ready to make a... No, bingo, you chump. Okay, right. Out number three. Side retired. Tied game. And uh, here's where Jeff Conservative really earns his salary if he can uh, do the mischief on the team with the damage and the pitching. That one's gone high and long. A failure looks like he might have it. Does he? Yes. Out number one. Good, 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 good. Right, Jeff uh, no, Jeff is pitching. Yeah, Frank is now batting of the Chicote, and, uh, and he's uh, three of five today. So this is a high-risk opportunity. Strike one. Very nice pitch there from Jeff Conservative. Here's your fastball. That one's down the line. That's uh, foul. Good. That's number two. And sometimes you can catch him out with a change-up. And we caught him out with a change-up. Chicote there, ruining a piece of expensive sporting equipment by throwing it on the floor, and he's out too. That's out number two. It is uh, Carl Sagan who is up to bat. And he's popped it up. Cindy's there. Cindy is there. Cindy's there. She's got it. She's got it. Out number three. We're going to extra innings, everybody. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's Bam Bam Puckeye who's up next. Only two of five today. Batting 571 for the season. Uh, this is where it really matters. To have your best pitch at batters not get out on the first pitch by hitting a long ball that didn't go long enough. Bam Bam. Okay, right. That brings up Shamrock Bubble Jet. He's got a double today. Well, I mean, that'd be nice. Here we go. Bubble Jets. Ball one. Okay. Okay. Calm down. There's ball two. It was a fastball, but it was uh, out. Strike one now. Okay, that was that was legal. Oh, that was strike two. He fell for a sinker. Anyway, Shamrock's got that one away. It's going as far as the fence. He's going to get another double off this. Uh, and that's the kind of play that we need. One out for Bulldozer Power. Shamrock Bubble Jet advancing to second base. Uh, and that will bring up Veronica Hammock. Uh, two for three at bat. Batting 588. Uh, that might make her the best batter on the team. Uh, right, that's ball one. No pressure, obviously. Best batter on the team. There's ball two. No pressure at all. Game's on the line. In fact, you can go beyond that. Season's on the line. Uh, they're going to run out. Uh, so Veronica gets onto first base, but they uh, they took care of the runner heading to third. And that brings up failure. Two for five today, but those two were home runs. Uh, see if he's uh, See if he's got anything left in the tank here in terms of talent. And uh, ball one, ball two, failure there. Waiting it out, standing his ground. And that's a nice hit. It's got some depth to it. And uh, we're going to go for it all here. No, we're not. We're not going to go for it all. I tried to make it go for it all, but we didn't go for it all. Well, for whatever reason, that didn't work. Here's uh, Steve Murray with a second opportunity for today to be the hero of the revolution. Steve Murray, pie eater. Oh, that one went very close to Steve's pie-eating department. Anyway, that's ball three. Steve, uh, nothing doing so far. And Steve gets a walk. Well, well, uh, well. Well, 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 well. Here's Tintin Hollywood. One of five today. Uh, but it was a home run. Bases are loaded. Two outs. Extra inning. This could not be more dramatic. Well, it could. It could if this was at the bottom of the tenth inning. But it's not. It's the top. Anyway, uh, bingo now. Ball two, strike one. No, it's not bingo. Tintin. Tintin gets underneath that one. It's got a lot of like, height on it. And it's gone for a grand slam. Ball does power. Tintin Hollywood. Getting it happening. Making the magic. Doing the business. And scoring the runs. As Bulldozer Power, when they needed it the most, uh, got a very nice hit there. Jeff can... Oh, well, there, what are we doing now? Oh, Beefly Hope is off. Because he sucked. And they're bringing on Chucky Homebrew instead. Wow, well, that's super, isn't it? What you got, Chucky? Anything? Nothing. I reckon you got nothing, Chucky. Ah, strike two. You know what Jeff's not going to do? He's not going to swing at any of this. He can't be bothered. Oh, maybe he can. There you go, Jeff. It's one foul. Go on, Jeff. Have, a, have some fun, mate. Well, Jeff gets on base. He kind of goes, no, mate, I'm at bat. I'm, I want to be on the all-star team as the greatest... Uh, batting pitcher in the league. Well, there's, there's Cindy and Bulldozer Power are still in. Not for long, though. Oh, that's another nice hit, is it? Yeah, it is. 
Oh, and we're going, we're getting cheeky with it. Anyway, that's a side retired. Cindy <laughs> for an ill-advised double there. But that is now a bulldozer power. 16, 7 and 9 is lagging by four. Now and here's Fats McHiggins. That would have been better if I hadn't stepped on it, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Anyway, here's James Perez. Yeah, Perez. God, James, do your worst. Oh, no, you're so dangerous. Veronica's caught you out. Sit down. Veronica Hammock there. Doing the thing in centre field. Uh, here is Trent Tuvok. He's had a pretty decent day. Uh, but his day's about to get quite a lot worse as he faces the Conservative. That was God foul. Okay. We're going to use the usual routine here. Uh, so you, you start with a curveball. Then you throw the fastball. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's broken the routine. And then you give them a change up because they're expecting another fastball. That was God ball three. Back to the curveball. Whatever. All right, no, never mind. I was going, I was talking you through the strategy there, but the strategy's gone completely pear-shaped, and therefore we won't bother. Anyway, that's uh, now strike two. That one's gone centre field, and I think that one's gone out of the park. That one's gone out of the park, everybody. Well, it's a home run. Oh, well done. Yeah, you look so pleased with yourself. You're only behind by three now. One out. Uh, here's Thor Haystacks. A couple of singles for her today. And, uh, okay, yeah, let's change it up by throwing a change up. Here we go. Bad pitch. Bad pitch. Bad pitch. Caught out. Good pitch. Ulysses failure there, making the matters, taking the, doing the business. Yeah, here we go. Here's another substitution. Chucky Homebrew didn't do very much. Is leaving the pitch. And Gabriel Church is coming on. Uh, Gabriel there can barely be seen underneath his helmet because his beard is very large and he's wearing sunglasses. That's uh, hit number one. Fail is there. And he's got it. Uh, side retired. Ball goes to power. Victory. Uh, but it had to go to extra inning. And it required a real clutch play there from Tinty and Hollywood to, uh, to keep the game in the control of the team that won it. And that team is ball goes to power. Well, there you go. As you can see, there's some numbers. Uh, who had a good day? Uh, Shamrock with 581 run uh, on, on the average there. Very nice for him. Uh, Veronica with 571. That's good too. Uh, Bam Bam, 563. That's also quite good. Uh, disappointing for uh, for Steve Murray. He only had 370, but he did get a home run, and therefore we can forgive that. So, Jeff Conservative with the win. No, nobody ever, nobody else gets credited for anything at all because they all sucked. Uh, but it was Jeff who got the business dealt with and uh, and signed it off and all of that business. Anyway, it's failure. Who is the uh, hero of the day with two home runs and six RBIs? For some reason, they've decided to give a charity vote there to Trent Tuvok on the losing team, who is your second star, with Tintin Hollywood, who saved the game for all of us. In third. Well, we've got some games to simulate. Five, in fact. So uh, let's get simulating. Uh, and it's the Duck Force against the Bloody Jesters, and the Jesters come away with that victory. The Nomads now taking on Cheerio Inc. The undefeated Cheerio Inc. win that 10 to 1. Failure Grad playing the Ocelots, who uh, narrowly edged that one 3 nothing. Failure Wood Hills playing the Kings. Kings, decent result, 8 to 2. Here's the uh, Steganauts against the Sloths. And uh, they're completely and utterly destroyed. Anyway, what does that do to the division? Cheerio Inc. are now 13 wins, no losses. Crumbs. Uh, Bulldozer Power now 6-6 six and six in second place. Clear in second place, ahead of the Steganauts, who are 5-8. and eight. Bumpson Hospital on 4-8. and eight. Uh, They're not doing anything much there at all. Uh, in the smoothing division, it is Duck Force and FC Failure Grad who are tied at the top. Uh, Duck Force ahead with the run difference over in Tree Gun. Hong Kong Kings are one game ahead of the Bloody Jesters. Nobody else really looking like they're in the running there. Over in Bombastic, everybody actually has a positive record, uh, but it is the Nomads leading the way on 9-4. and four, uh, Golden Eagles in second. And it is the Golden Eagles who are next up to face the majestic performance of Bulldozer Power. Gunther Beefy will be leading the way for them uh, from the uh, pitching uh, edifice there. And uh, I look forward to seeing you then. I've been Colonel Fanny. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch up with you next time. Subscribe to make sure you keep your season ticket intact. And...
Cheerio. Well, that much-needed win from Bulldozer Power puts them back into, well, not contention so much as it does slightly improve the chances that we make some post-season action. And, uh, and hopefully I'll have, I'll have got enough muscle memory going on by that point to actually be able to, to make a bit of a run at the title. I don't know, anything could happen. Good game, this one, though. Ah, that was a good one. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That was fun. Uh, well, to be honest, I enjoy all of them. Win, lose, doesn't really matter. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's all good fun. Uh, so there you go. Subscribe and that to make sure you keep up on the series. I, I had nothing more for you today. I'm sorry about that. I don't, therefore, the standard generic uh, subscription message was the only thing left in my arsenal of uh, one-shot comments that I could throw in here when required. You know, I really ought to do something about the music in these these end sections. Originally, the plan was that these would be 40 seconds long and that uh, and therefore the music was designed to, to hit that 40 second point uh, around the same time as I'm wrapping up whatever admissive I've got to deliver to you on that particular day. But of course, me having absolutely no discipline whatsoever uh, means that, that that's just not worked. No, not at all. So I think some kind of recurring kind of loop kind of deal kind of idea might work quite nicely for this. Then I can make it as long as I like with a bit of a, I don't know, a kung fu sound effect at the end of it to indicate that I'm finished. I'll put it on my to-do list, shall I? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea because it's not like that hasn't got anything on it at the moment. Yeah, all right. Anyway, catch you next time. Yeah, have a good one. Yep. Put your bat away and oil your glove. Mm.